you know, I've been noticing the promos for the upcoming show, Thicker Than Water. It's very obvious, you know, that, you know, family is important to you. Um, you are not only, you know, the head of your household, but you also, you know, are, are a, a, an individual that is looked up to not only as, as a minister but also a motivational speaker. You know, how has that message helped you to kind of stay grounded, to know that God is everything that you need? You know, it is a challenge, too, because, you know, rec, um, um, television networks, uh, they, they're they not as committed to uh, the messages that we are uh, because they're in, of course, to make to make money and to get viewers. Right. So it is a challenge to, to, to really work hard to bottleneck our message and squeeze it through the editors and make sure that our heart gets expressed uh, through the editing process, so all of the, the the life lessons won't end up on the cutting room floor. And so right. uh, my heart is to just show people that no matter where you are, you can have a full life. I was born in poverty. Uh, we came up on public assistance, welfare, peanut butter, powdered eggs, food stamps, the whole ball of wax. So I know what it's like to have nothing. So I'm extremely grateful about the wonderful family that God has given me. He's given me uh, uh, money to pay my bills, send my kids to college, to to live in a big house so that we all can live under one roof for a season like the Waltons. And so I'm quick to testify about that. And so it just kind of grieves me sometimes that people take that out of context and make it seem like I'm just some just uh, Mr. Potiphar on The Wonderful Life. But I'm yeah. just wanting to testify and say, hey, look what God did. Not that anything's wrong with someone else if they're not here yet. I'm just saying, hey, I've been to the mountaintop. I've seen over the promised land. I've, and I'm just coming back to tell you, we can take this hill. You can do it. Just trust God, and God will take care of you. That, that's pretty much is my message. Right. You know, if you don't mind, I'd like to stay with that for a moment, um, Ben, because I think when I was watching the promos, one of the things that I thought about, and it's this is one of the things I think that unfortunately has turned some people off of religion, not so much I think God, but religion, and that is that it, it's it's we can be so quick to judge um, what mm -hmm. some somebody should be doing. And I think, you know, you, when you serve a God that has, as even as Shelley's uh, album says, he has everything. So, you know, mm -hmm. and he definitely wants to bless his people. There's nothing wrong with being able to, to have blessings, to have things. Do, do you think that, you know, a show like yours and an example like yours shows people of faith that, that God, you know, there's nothing wrong with you or having things as long as you know what is the priority and what, what comes first? You hit it dead on the head, you know, and I've seen, I, I think we've seen, especially in the African-American community, I think we get it. I think we've seen enough of uh, the good times um, type shows where the black family is in the project and the, and then along came the Jeffersons and we're moving on up uh, to the east side, you know, and, and then the, uh, praise God, here comes the Cosby's where you can see yeah. where uh, a doctor and a doctor can have a growing family and it's, and it's okay to be successful. What we want to do on the reality side is just, let people look over our shoulder and see, even though we are successful, we do have problems, and we have to work out those problems just like anybody that's in another tax bracket, um, leaning on God for all our understanding and wisdom. And it's okay uh, to to believe the entire scripture. The scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. And people are used to that. But the second part of that scripture, and all these things shall be added unto you, People just kind of turn and go 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 off, you know, to a spring break and never get back to that part of the scripture, <laughs> you know. Right, but exactly. he wants to fill the whole scripture. So when those things start being added, don't get upset when those things start being added to other people around you. Just get on the bandwagon and say that whole scripture is for me as well. 